This is Walt Mossberg. He's kind of a big deal. He's been reviewing consumer tech products for 24 years. You know how there are tech reviews on the internet meant for actual humans? Yeah, he basically invented that. And now he's here with us at The Verge, reviewing the iPhone 6S. Yeah, this is fast, I gotta tell you. Hi, this is Walt Mossberg, columnist for The Verge. And this week, I want to tell you about the best version of the best smartphone on the market, the new iPhone 6S. The principal new feature in this phone is that they have built the screen in such a way that it now recognizes the pressure of your touch. It actually can figure out that you're pressing and how hard you're pressing, and it can do different things. For instance, we're in a list of emails here. If I press hard enough, you can see that I get a peek at the email. I press a little harder, the whole email opens, and that Apple calls that a pop. Point is, I can quickly go and get a better sense of my email without the tedium of opening it, then going back to the list, and then going to the next one, and so forth. While the iPhone was already, I think, the best uh, smartphone camera around, they've actually improved the camera significantly this time. They've gone from 8 megapixels to 12 megapixels, and that by itself doesn't always mean you get better pictures, but they've taken some steps in the sensor and the optics to give you better pictures. The pictures on this, unbelievable. The front camera has gone to 5 megapixels, so you get better selfies. For videos, you get an even better feature, which is you get 4K video and you can see the difference. They also have a new kind of still photo called live photos. The phone takes one and a half seconds of video on either side of the still picture, and the picture actually moves, and you, you can even get sound. Overall, the phone is significantly faster without sacrificing battery life. It had about the same battery life as the phone last year, but there must be some downsides to it. And there are a couple. Number one, budget. You don't have 650 bucks for the base model of this, you don't buy it. The carriers, and now Apple itself, will sell you this on an installment plan with no interest, but it is a $650 thing. And that's just for starters. Secondly, memory. It's time, Apple, to not make your base model have only 16 gigabytes of storage. It should be at least 32 gigabytes, and it shouldn't cost more for the base model than it does now. But all in all, I don't have any big complaints about this, and I think this is a terrific product. 